What's going on, everybody? Hope you are having a great one, and thank you for joining as always. I am very excited to be taking a look at this beauty here. Uh, it is Tash from the Serene Hound series by i8 Toys. Uh, now, full disclosure, I tried doing an unboxing video for her yesterday, uh, and I realized that I am not good at unboxing videos. Uh, long story short, uh, I spent about seven minutes cutting the tape off the package. Um, this was the first thing that I have ordered from Giant Toy. Uh, if you're not familiar with Giant Toy, they are a pretty good online retailer. Uh, they have a bunch of 6th and 12th scale figures that you can pick from. Uh, really good pre-order options, very, very good selection. Now, the only downside to them, I am in kind of middle of America. Uh, so from shipping out there to Chicago took uh, about five and a half, six weeks. Uh, now it did get a little bit delayed. Um, I partially, to be honest, blame uh, Giant Toy and I feel weird saying that, but the way the thing was packaged, it looked like they uh, pretty much said, let's make this look as suspicious as possible. Um, it was wrapped up in a wide variety of colored tape. Uh, gray, brown, clear, there's some dark black on it, uh, just ab absolutely ludicrous. Uh, so I think it just kind of drew some attention at customs and took them a while to get it cleared and sent over. But it did finally arrive. Uh, the price was good. Um, definitely going to keep ordering from them down the road. Uh, just be mindful if you do end up going through them yourself. Uh, shipping time not the greatest. Now this series of figures uh, is pretty awesome. I saw a pre-order recently for uh, the new one in the line, which uh, I immediately ordered, um, and then I was kind of looking at some of the other figures that they've released. They are not very cheap at this point. Uh, there's three previous ones. You got Tash here. Uh, she has a sister uh, that basically a twin that's this, almost the same figure with a different outfit. Um, and then Catherine, which was the original one. Uh, they all sell for quite a bit of money at this point, so getting uh, the two earlier ones I'm probably not going to worry about doing. Um, but very happy to get this one. She was still in stock in Giant Toy last I checked, so you might want to pick one up yourself. Uh, now, I don't often recommend getting figures, but this is going to be one of the rare exceptions in which I strongly suggest you do a little bit of research on your own just to see if what I'm saying makes sense to you uh, and, and you pre-order and buy uh, Grania, the upcoming one. Uh, the real reason being, even if you don't like the figure, uh, the resale on these is pretty insane. Um, even her right here, you can get from Giant Toy, I think right now for like right around 200 bucks. A lot of other websites have her at, you know, 250 to 300. Um, Catherine I've seen as high as, you know, seven, 800. Um, I think on eBay, she even goes in the four or 500 range. Uh, so there's a lot of resale value to them from what I can tell. Uh, so it might be one that you want to invest in just for that reason alone. Um, you know, again, do a little look and just see if it makes sense to you. Obviously, don't spend the money if you don't got it, but uh, I plan on getting one just for that reason and then one to keep for myself. Um, now, on to this figure. We're going to go ahead and get right into her. Uh, I figured I'd have her in a nice, fun little pose. Um, one thing that I have fallen in love with right off the bat is the posability of these gals. Uh, it is fantastic. So we're just going to kind of stand her up a little bit. Eh, we'll lay her down. I don't want to... Uh, don't want to cause any issues there, but I do want to look at this beautiful brown shipper. Now, if you notice, I am picking it up with a pinky extended because this is fancy. This is one of the fanciest shippers I have ever seen in my life. Uh, Hot Toys, take notice. Uh, you are losing the Fortnite match to these guys. Uh, they have straight up just smashed your base. They're taking your supplies. It's over. Uh, you you got to gotta up your game. <laughs> got to up your game in that regard. I mean, you don't really, but... Holy cow, uh, these guys crushed it. Uh, now, you do get a ton of choking warnings, um, so don't try and eat it uh, or shove it down your throat. Uh, you will apparently choke on it. Uh, also, uh, there's some websites and some Facebook info for them. Um, so if you want to uh, reach out to them, check them out, uh, you can go to any of those, and you're good to go from there. Uh, anytime I get a shipper like that, I'm super happy. Uh, what made me even more happy is the actual box art itself. Um, this is gorgeous. Uh, that's just a super cool picture. Um, honestly, if they put that on a t-shirt, I'd probably buy it. I'm just saying, you know, maybe just that. Just do the, the cool little head. Yeah. 
overall though I think uh, absolutely cool art box art goes a long way for me they did a really good job on this one simple and to the point I really like it um, I'm hoping the other ones will have a slightly different color scheme uh, Grania I'm thinking maybe get some orange uh, would be kind of cool um, then the box you get more choking hazards they really want you to know that uh, there are small parts in here, so don't eat them. Uh, need a little more info there. Uh, onto the figure itself. Uh, kind of got a little view of her, but we'll get a little bit closer. Um, now, advanced warning, they did make her a little on the spicy side, so she is a bit revealing. Uh, but here you see this beautiful little face. We'll kind of tilt her to avoid some of that shadow. Um, honestly, the face sculpts is what sold me on these gals. Uh, they're really, really fantastic. You can't tell from here, but you can move their eyes, uh, which I will show you in a little bit. I probably won't move them myself just because it's a little tricky, but I'll at least show you how to do that in case you consider getting one yourself. Uh, Grania, the upcoming one, actually has replaceable eyes, so you can give her these cool little demon looks. Uh, which I think is fantastic. Uh, it is a little cold in here, as you can tell, so she's kind of, you know, busting out of her shirt a little bit. Uh, we'll forgive her for that. Um, she does have the cool little logo there on the breast patch, which I think is awesome. Uh, now that's just the Serene Hound logo that they came up with. I think it looks really cool. Uh, the fabric that they used, honestly, is really good. Um, I, the pleats on the skirt are a little off. Uh, I kind of don't care if you're overly picky, that might bother you. I'm going to be posing her around a bunch, so it's going to be moving all over the place. Uh, not that big of a deal to me. Wish that it was a little more even, up, especially since it's one of the front ones, but uh, eh, not the worst thing in the world. Um, she is seamless body. Now, uh, most of the other figures in this line are a lot spicier than she is as far as the way they are dressed. She's got this nice long full skirt basically a ton of coverage, um, which I actually like, because if uh, her body does crack over time, which it probably will, most of her is covered, so I don't really have to worry about doing a body replacement right off the bat. Um, her sister's got a mini skirt, which I think is why she sold faster. Uh, it goes up to about there, so you get some nice thigh action. Um, but overall, they did a really good job on the actual costume of her, and she does have a ton of articulation. You get a good waistband there, uh, both of the elbows, uh, you can move them around all of that way, up and down, all of that good stuff. Uh, her knees have a really good durable joint in them, which I love. You can kind of hear that little pop, pop, pop. Uh, so she's going to hold her positions pretty well. Uh, now, she didn't come with a stand, uh, but she does have surprisingly good balance for the weird feet that she's got, which I will show you now. Um, so she's got these kind of crazy boots. Uh, I don't know what material they used on them. I actually dig it, though. Uh, other than that tiny little blemish there, which just looks like some uh, some schmutza. We'll get that off. Um, I, I like that they didn't go with leather or anything like that, because these really are going to hold up over time. Uh, you're not going to worry about them peeling or anything like that, uh, other than maybe getting a little dirty or dusty. Um, if you, you don't pay attention, um, they're going to look fine uh, over time. She does have some ankle movement. Uh, not a whole lot, just because the boots kind of restrict that, but... Um, if you do need to do like a little bit of a rotate or a pivot, um, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. Uh, now, if you're curious, hopefully she'll forgive me, the boots do go up to the knee, and then she's got some thigh highs. I'm sorry, darling, don't mean to show that skin, but uh, just in case you were wondering, so she does have that kind of going for her. Now, her sister's figure, uh, very much the same, um, but does have the mini skirt. I think a different hair color as well. Um, and then probably comes with different accessories. She's been out of stock everywhere I've looked, so I haven't really uh, gone too in-depth into what she comes with. Um, if I do ever see her for cheap, definitely going to buy her. Uh, but for now, we'll just stick with her and then grind her once she's out. Uh, Accessory-wise, you don't get a ton with these girls, but you don't really need a lot. Uh, she does come with a bag of hands. Um, I haven't opened them just because I'm not going to swap them out, but you get closed fist, trigger hands. Uh, there's four different sets in there, so you get a, a pretty wide variety. Uh, basically, you know, fist, trigger, slightly open, what she's got there. Uh, there's no really full extension or anything like that, but she doesn't particularly need, need one, I wouldn't say. Um, and then we can take a quick look at the gun that she's 
got, which is a beauty. Uh, it does come in this fancy little tray. Uh, not overly fancy, I just like to call it that. Um, now it is plastic. I kind of wish it was metal, but I'm going to be forgiving because it's still pretty darn awesome. Um, there's a bunch of little attachments for it. You got a scope, bandolier, uh, you can add a nice little muzzle suppressor onto the end. Uh, the bipod will click in, uh, and then it does have movable or insertable magazines, which I will show you in a moment. Uh, I also like that you can move the little rangefinder there. Um, that's really fragile, so be careful with it if you do move it. Uh, it also has a spring-loaded bolt, which is kind of a nice little touch. I, I always like stuff like that because it's nothing they need to do, but I, I think it kind of goes a nice way to add some extra flavor to it. Um, just kind of makes it a cooler accessory. Uh, like I said, you do have some pretty fun little pieces that snap onto this bad boy. Um, for the most part, they're pretty easy to just kind of line up and figure out where they should go. Um, slide that over a little. Uh, but you're basically, for the most part, should be able to kind of clip them in Relatively straightforward. I'm surprised this one. There we go for that. Now, interestingly, there aren't extra little snaps in there. Kind of surprised in that regard, but that's okay. Uh, it does still seem to lock on fairly. Uh, might fall off depending on how you tilt it. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by that. It does look like you've got a little bit of adjustability to it, to an extent. So like right there, it's a lot tighter fit. I'll probably leave it in that spot. Um, but you can kind of play around and move it as you see fit. Of course, now it's probably going to stay in there, so that might be its new forever home. Yeah, we'll leave it in there for now. I don't really feel like messing with it. Uh, now the magazines themselves, they do have visible bullets, which I love. If I can get one out... Aha, uh -huh, success. As you can see, they are fully loaded and ready to go. Um, and those just kind of loop right into there. And you are all set in that regard. Um, the suppressor, I think, just kind of clips right onto the end of the barrel. It shouldn't be overly picky, overly tricky. Uh, and then this guy basically just fits right into there. Good to go in that regard. And they actually got some cool detail on that. I like what they did there. Uh, you can lock it closed and rotate it if you wanted to. Maybe. There we go. Kind of delicate, so be careful if you're moving it around. Um, but definitely will do the job. Uh, and then the suppressor is kind of tricky to get out. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now we're going to cheat. When in doubt, drop it. Uh, it looks, for the most part, like you're just going to kind of plop it right on the barrel, from what I can tell. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Might even be doing this backwards. Someone can yell at me. Yeah, that screwed in pretty easy. You just kind of plop that on there and you're good to go. Now she can kill in uh, low flash, somewhat quieter fashion. I mean, let's be honest. This thing is going to make a bang. <laughs> even even with that, it's still going to be a little noisy. Uh, but definitely cool. I do like uh, that it actually ends up almost being as tall as her. That's kind of fun. Now, real quickly, just because I don't want this to, to be too long of a video. I'm so sorry I'm doing to this. Oh, sweetie, you were supposed to pop off easy. There we go. Uh, we're going to make this kind of fast just so we can wrap things up. If you do want to move her eyes, I'm going to kind of show you how to do that. So you do have to yank her head off, um, which I feel bad for each and every time. You then have to ugly her up by taking her hair off. Uh, now it is attached by magnet. Uh, and this is where it gets kind of tricky. Uh, so if you look in there, you can see the little white pieces of plastic that you can move her eyeballs with. Um, they give you this nice little ex 
extender, that piece of metal there, you can kind of put on the end of it so you got something easier to grab with like model tweezers, pliers, something like that. Um, and you can actually remove uh, this magnet portion. So what you end up doing is you pop that part out, that comes out entirely, put the little extender on there, wiggle the eyes the way you want to go, and then pop everything back together. Um, now for her, I'm not going to be moving her eyes much at all. Um, so I'm just going to be leaving it as is. I think she is absolutely beautiful looking straight ahead. Um, I mean, come on now, am I right? Mm, that's for you. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Um, so again, if you do, uh, do think about getting one, um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all. Um, honestly, just the look of these figures I absolutely love. It's really like an anime or a video game character just kind of jumping off the screen, so I'm super happy with it. Um, really no complaints there. And if you are thinking of just getting one that you can flip, uh, probably a, a good option. Um, I might not go with her per se. Um, she is reselling already for a decent amount, but uh, I would recommend just have trust that there are a lot of Jiraiya-like people out in the world. Uh, Naruto fans, you'll understand that reference. Um, in short, people are going to like the spicier ones. Uh, so get 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 the ones with the shorter skirts. Uh, you'll have an easier time reselling them. 